Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Mark and in this video I wanted to talk about our memories. I'm talking about the memories that we have here in 3D. What are they? Um, where do they come from? And are they maybe more than memories? So if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel, hit that notification bell, and you'll be notified when I release new videos. So I was meditating the other day and I started to have these thoughts come up about memories and it was sometime last year, I think it was earlier in the year, I did a video on how I actually was able to visit myself at different points in my past and it was a basically a bilocation experience where I was had the presence of mind where I was but yet I was also standing in front of me as a younger child. That was one of the experiences um, and essentially what was happening was I was reliving a memory. I was seeing a memory from my past. So in meditation the other day um, some new knowing came forth regarding memories and when we when we have memories, see when we're in this 3D reality we experience everything on a timeline and so basically when we're having experiences, multi-dimensional experiences, because everything's happening in the now, they come in and they drop in in certain points along this timeline, so certain points within our life. Now I've also had experiences where I'll get a synchronicity, um, I'll get a piece of a puzzle so to speak, and I've learned to kind of wait because the you know another piece will drop in at another point in time and maybe I'll get that piece a few days later or a week later and then all of a sudden I'll remember something that happened maybe a while ago that was part of the same puzzle, part of the same message. They dropped in at different times. Um, when you look at it from a 5D perspective, you kind of can put the whole message together, right? But on the timeline, they come in in different increments throughout your life, throughout your experience here in 3D. So what came to me in this meditation the other day was that we're really... Um, our memories are really accessible as live experiences right here and right now through our heart portal. So because we're programmed in 3D, we've spent all this time here, you know, when we've been born, we've had many, many lifetimes here in 3D, we're programmed um, to this dimension and we have these experiences that tell us that, you know, time is linear. So in order to get from event to event or moment to moment, you know, it's essentially it comes in a linear fashion, one right after another, like if you're watching a movie screen. Okay, so when you're in the movie, you're in the movie, let's say you're an actor in the movie, but you're really not aware that you're an actor in the movie, you believe you're the character, that's kind of what's happening here in 3D. We believe we're the character. We buy into the movie. We don't believe that it's real. If it's being filmed in Hollywood, we're on a set, maybe we think that the buildings that we see around us that are the facades are actual buildings. You know, that's kind of what's happening here in 3D um, because we close off our awareness. Now, it's our fear um, of that unknown. It's our fear of our traumas, our, our fear of separation, really, that keeps us locked into this 3D idea of a 3D timeline. So we see these events that are actually occurring in the now as memories, as the past. But again, we know everything is happening right now, right? So when we look at it from a 5D perspective, we could see that we have a portal within us. Um, it, it's a literal wormhole. Hole. From a quantum level, it is a literal wormhole where we are entangled, we are connected quantumly to these other points in time, these other aspects of ourself. Okay, so when we can step out of fear, because the fear and the this fear of separation and this fear of the unknown is really kind of collapsing that wormhole. Okay, it's collapsing this into the, the quantum wave into particle, which is matter. And we live within matter and we see matter and we think matter is real. So we basically cut ourselves off from accessing the wave. And when we can access the wave, when we could basically transcend these fears, heal these fears, get in heart coherence and connected to our heart, we can hold that wormhole open. 
And when we can hold that wormhole open, we can access, actually access all of these other aspects of us. So literally, we could have an experience where we're literally viewing an event from our past. We're not closed off from it because the fear is not collapsing that um, experience into a timeline, into a third dimensional reality, okay? We allow the wave function to expand, to open up, and we allow through our heart, through our heart coherence with our mind, we can then consciously take a journey through that portal and experience other realities. Now, it doesn't limit us to just other realities based on our human existence, our lifetimes here. We could experience other realities as other types of entities, as other types of beings, star beings. Um, I've been on Pleiadian craft. I was on an Arcturian craft. Um, many different places, you know, many times. So these were all experiences of being able to access quantumly that portal and have that experience. It wasn't closed off, okay? Because when we close it off, we're dealing with our brain, our 3D brain, and we can't remember those experiences because, again, we're so focused on the 3D reality. But when we're able to transcend that fear and step out beyond that, then all of our existences open up. Now, the higher we go in frequency, the higher we can expand, the more we could expand that wormhole. The higher we go dimensionally, we vibrate into higher frequencies, into faster and higher light frequencies, and more realities open up to us, meaning that we can translate these experiences through our heart, through our heart portal, in coherence with our mind, and we could actually experience them consciously. Okay? So that's what's happening. We want to have that coherence. We want to be able to do the healing, transcend the fear, um, integrate these lower frequencies within us, raise our vibration so that we can start to have some of these experiences. And it starts with knowing that everything is available to you now if you look inside, if you go inside, if you do the work, if you heal um, the dense energy within your body, if you start to recognize and observe the fears, you could raise your frequency. And basically with that, everything that you are starts to become available to your consciousness. Everything that's been blocked out, past lives, um, existences on other planets, meetings with ETs, you know, extraterrestrials, those kind of things open up to you. Um, fundamental things such as the universe, gravity, did a video on that a while back. Those kind of things start to become available to you. And it all has to do with being able to be in coherence with your heart so that you can open up these portals quantumly and hold them open with your awareness, with your presence. Okay, we create like a gravitational field that is going to hold those portals open. And when, once you could do that and get really present and centered, you could step through that portal and start to have all these types of experiences, um, which include memories. So um, it's, the, it's the nostalgia, it's the trauma, it's the whatever, those types of feelings that close us off because we see it all as happening in a timeline. But I can assure you, that everything is accessible to you through your heart. So continue to do that work without expectation. Just heal, continue on your journey, your ascension path, and um, things are going to start to happen for you. So 20, 2021 is all about that. So let's continue doing the work so we can raise the frequency of the planet. We could all ground new earth and all start to have more of these types of experiences. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. Uh, if you've had some of these experiences, go ahead and comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. Until next time, guys, love and light.